Okay, for this lesson, we're going to carry on with file handling and we're going to look at appending to a file and reading from it and then looping through a text file. So firstly, when you open a file in write mode, so when you put W there, it will either create a new file for you or overwrite an existing file. Now, but sometimes you want to open the file, but you don't want to remove the data that has already been entered inside that file. So for that, you will need to open it in append mode. And this is how we do it in append mode. First, it's exactly the same as the write mode. The only thing that we do is change the W to an um, the W to an A. So we open the file, and then we write the file name, which is test1.txt again. Then we put A, which will append to the file. It will not remove any existing data of test1.txt if it already exists. If it doesn't, it will create a new one for you. File.write will write to the file and then welcome and my friend are the data that will be entered and slash n is going to move it to a new line so we write welcome and my friend on two separate lines and then you also need to close the file to make sure you saved it so this is an example so here i've got an existing file okay so you've got hello which contains whatsapp and welcome bob now i just changed this the w to an a and I'm going to run it. Okay, now I've run the file. I've run the program. I go back to hello. You can see that it's it kept what's up and welcome Bob, and it wrote the new one as well. So it did not remove the existing data. Okay, so back to read mode. So we've got. This is the read mode. So again, read mode is similar to writing an appended file when we're opening it. Exactly the same thing. We create a file handler, we open it, and then name.txt is the file name. And then R will be to open it in read mode. Then we need to create a, f a variable. We can call it read it. It, is, it doesn't matter what you call it, but read it just sounds um, nice in this case. Um, file.read and then open the parentheses and close it. So the, the dot, dot read is a function that reads everything inside the file. So you have to use the file handler, which is file, and then dot read. This will read the, all the contents of the file and it will store it inside read it. So whatever is inside names.txt will be stored in there. Then file.close and then we print read it. This will display, so you need to close the file, then you need to display the content of the file. Otherwise, there's no point just reading it, in, at least for this question. So if I go back to this question, so we've got a file called hello, and we've got this content here. So I'm just going to do that. Now, if I go back to this one, and I just change the A to R, then I'm going to read it. So I'm going to create a variable called read it, and then I'm going to read the file. So file.read and I'll open the parentheses and close it. This will read the file. Once I've done that, I'll close it, as I've done here. Then I will display the contents of read it. And when I run it, it will actually display everything that is inside the text file. Okay, and then finally, final example, which is looping through a text file. Now, you do the same, you open it in read mode. Now, once you've opened it in read mode, here we have an example of asking the question. So I've asked the user a question, I've asked them for the name, then I've looped, use a for loop to loop through each line in the file. So for line in file, it will go through the first line, second line, third line, and so on. So first line, it goes through the first line, and then it uses an if statement. It compares line, so that the data on that line with name. So if that name is the only thing on that line, then it will display found. Otherwise, it will go to the next line, and so on. So it will it will loop through each line and then it will, it will until it finishes uh, until it finishes the file and it goes through the whole file and then it will display found if the name is if the name is in there.